Hi, this is Goggin, and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a beer review on a beer I didn't know nothing about. Uh, this beer was sent to me by uh, one of my subscribers, very good friend, Alan R. And I want to give you a shout out there, uh, Alan R, for sending this to me for review. And I uh, uh, hope, hope your dad is doing fine. I know he is having a little uh, bit of issues there. But I hope your dad is doing fine, and I hope your mother is also doing fine. Uh, I don't know anything about this uh, beer. Uh, it's called uh, Montauk. I guess that's why you say it. I'll show you the can. It's called a uh, Montauk. I guess that's why you say it. And uh, go ahead and uh, find out a little bit. Maybe we can find out a little bit about it. Uh, Brewed and canned by Montauk Brewing, Montauk, New York. And under a special agreement with uh, Westminster, Massachusetts. Montauk Brewing in uh, Company. Uh, says at the top, come as you are, uh, Montauk Brewing Company, New York established uh, 2012. Uh, this is a driftwood ale with a 6.0 alcohol by volume. So it's got a uh, uh, 6.0 alcohol by volume to it. And uh, this is one of uh, Alan R's uh, uh, favorite uh, go-to beers, what he drinks. And he was kind enough to send me uh, some of this to review. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to review it. And I don't know anything about this. I have never seen this beer, so this is uh, exciting for me. Uh, it's a Driftwood L. Going to go ahead and pop it open here and give it a pour. Ooh. Maybe I poured it a little bit too fast. I don't Maybe not. Okay, it's got a, a amber co color to it, and the head is holding. It's not dissipating, but uh, I see like in the amber color it's murky. It's got a murky color where it's not clear where you can see through it. Uh, there's a carbonation in it, but it's got a, a murky color to it on the inside. The head is not disappeared. That is good. That's a sign of, to, to me, that's a sign of, of a well-brewed beer. Uh, usually you pour uh, a, one of the beers in and all of a sudden you got the head for a minute and, shoo, and it's gone. This one is still lingering around. And uh, the color to it, like I say, it's uh, uh, got a nice color. Uh, it's not clear. It's murky. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, now give it a smell. It has a light smell. There's a light, pleasant smell of like uh, kind of a, a malt, kind of a cereal grain type. Uh, but it's not overpowering. It's, it's got a nice smell to it. Really nice, real, real light, real refreshing type smell. And the head is still there. I love it. Uh, Going to go ahead and uh, give it a taste.
this beer has a it's it's very smooth in the mouth uh very uh i guess you call it frothy uh very smooth uh kind of a creamy does have an aftertaste to it which is uh not really bad but there is an aftertaste of a bitterness you go ahead and take another drink here slight burn to it when it's in your mouth there's a slight burn not overpowering burn uh, but it's letting you know it's there uh, it's like a, the taste is is like a, of a malt and a hops together with a, a grains uh, like cereal grains I can't make out exactly the cereal grains. Uh, it tastes kind of like a, a wheat and corn mixture. Uh, because it also has a kind of a sweet taste. So I'm, I'm thinking it's got uh, corn in it because of the sweet taste and the wheat. Uh, and everything, it goes together really well. It's, it's really, really nice, nice tasting beer. It does have, like I say, the aftertaste to it. And uh, the aftertaste isn't, isn't bad, but it's, it's like kind of a lingering type aftertaste to it. Sweet. When you first taste it, it's sweet, uh, kind of like a honey sweet, kind of like a, a honey cereal type sweet. And then it goes to that aftertaste. But it's uh, it's not a bad a bad brew at all. It's 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 uh, really uh, quite refreshing. And uh, it's not a bad beer or a bad uh, ale. This is uh, Driftwood Ale. Not really up that much on ales, but uh, ale and beer, they're basically, I believe, the same thing. It's just uh, their uh, brood may be different. Bon top. It's I rate my beers from uh, uh, one to five, with one being the lowest, five being the highest. Take one more drink and then I'll rate it. I'll give this one on a, uh, my rating. I'll give this one a four. This one is not a bad uh, brew. Uh, got a great taste to it really pleasant the only uh, thing I, I really don't care for is the uh, aftertaste the aftertaste and the bitterness uh, it's not like a, a bold bitterness but it's it's got like a, a slight bitterness to it uh, well maybe I'll say maybe I guess a slight to a moderate but it's a uh, uh, I don't care for like the uh, uh, bitter aftertaste and this one has uh, quite a bit of aftertaste to it like if you're sitting there you're, you're going to taste the bitterness but it's not a bad brew I would suggest uh, you to try this yourself and uh, like I say it's a Montauk uh, Driftwood Ale and uh, this is one of Alan R's uh, go-to beers. 
and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just uh, uh, really a, a, a good beer. It just, uh, to me, I, I don't care for the, the, the aftertaste. Other, anything other than that, it's got a good taste uh, about it. Like uh, it feels good in your mouth. It's got a nice sweet taste. It just uh, really, really a good brew. I give it a four. And uh, pre uh, appreciate you, uh, Alan R, for sending this to me and uh, let me do this review. Uh, I call them as I uh, taste them. And appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. Hope you give this a try. If you can find this, uh, go ahead and do that. Just give it a try and see what you think. Uh, it's, like I say, it's not a bad brew at all. It's uh, a really quite pleasant. It's just the aftertaste what's, uh, don't doesn't appeal to me. Now, some people, the aftertaste is maybe appeals to you, and you rate this in high, uh, like a, a five. But uh, due to the aftertaste, I have to rate it a four. And uh, appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there, and uh, have more videos coming. And uh, uh, y'all take care.